People always ask me, how do you memorize all that? And the truth is, the first girl I ever kissed tasted like tomatoes. I know this because the second girl I ever kissed tasted like pepper. It wasn't unpleasant, it's just I was expecting tomatoes. When I was a kid, I learned that time slows near a black hole. Inside a black hole, time stops altogether. Whether or not this theory will ever be proved, I am moved to believe this would be the perfect place to love someone. In grade four, my gym teacher gave me the nickname Half Ton. It was a name that stuck. I remember it because it was the first time I ever told someone, go fuck yourself and meant it. He quit calling me the name after he called my house trying to get me in trouble for what I'd said, to which my grandmother replied, Mr. Shithead, I told him to say it. I remember my grandfather's blue toolkit, where he hid a secret stash of raisins. I recall thinking, my granddad has the worst tasting candy. But he did teach me how to tie a tie. My first opportunity to apply this knowledge was my first date. A seventh grade classmate who showed up wearing acid wash jeans and a deaf leopard t-shirt, I wore a suit and tie. When she asked why I was all dressed up, I had to think quickly and told her, I thought it'd be funny. I don't want to say it ended badly, but she wound up leaving me for a boy who could make farting noises with his armpit. I'm forced to admit, it was pretty cool. In fourth grade, my teacher had a rule about speaking out of turn. Failure to learn and practice this lesson would result in having to sit outside. I know this because I tried it once. When she finally came out to check on me, she asked, what was so important that it couldn't wait? Knowing that it's rude to point but needing to illustrate my position, I gestured to her chest and said, your boob is hanging out. She quickly covered up and corrected me. Breast. She was a good teacher. When I was 12, I was given an academic diagnostics test. The instructor later informed me I had an aptitude for history. He looked puzzled when I replied, yeah, but that was yesterday. Today I'm more interested in tomorrow. I remember it because the next day I asked a girl if I could borrow a pen. When I offered it back, she said, you should write me a letter with it first. So I did. I wrote her a note, which the teacher then intercepted and read to the class. It was something we'd learned in science that day. By the way, gravity affects mass and weight in relation to how quickly something will fall. Example. A crumpled ball of paper will fall at the same speed as a chunk of granite. It doesn't matter how much something weighs, it stays the same until you consider surface area and resistance, at which point the persistence of gravity loses force. Example, crumple a piece of paper into a ball, it will fall more quickly than a loose sheet. They're both composed of the same mass and weight, so you'd think that the rate of velocity measured by the force of gravity would cause each to fall at the same speed, but that's when you need to consider the greater surface area of the loose sheet adds resistance, so the crumpled ball will fall quickly and the loose sheet will slowly float. I wrote a note saying that when two people fall in love, they do so at the same speed. There's no need to factor in the physics. Explanations are something we can make no use of. Einstein once wrote, gravity will not be held responsible for people falling in love. I wrote a note saying if I fall in love with you, no one will ever be able to explain it. And I think that's beautiful. Despite the class laughing, she did as well. Which is how I can tell you that I then knew and now still know. She tasted like tomatoes. I don't remember the way every song goes. I can't recall every person I've met. I get names mixed up all the time. I'm terrible with birthdays. But I remember all the ways people have affected me. How our stories became memories. And if you were brazen enough to make one with me, then you're in there somewhere. Maybe it was a truth or dare kiss, or a simple act of kindness. One that reminded me to remember the moment and mark it as a memory so I could have it to look back on from this life. I've drawn conclusions so big they can't fit into the tiny comic book boxes. Because I don't want to risk losing the details just so I can make the story fit. It's not a trick. I remember how things felt, which in turn makes me remember how things happened. Like my first attempt at skateboarding, when I received a down-to-the-bone skin knee. I remember a tree that looked like a man with huge arms trying to hold up the sky. I used to try to climb to the top until one day I did and couldn't get down. I remember the man with the brown car who tried to convince me he was sent to pick me up by my mom. Number one, I lived with my grandparents. Number two, you didn't know the safety word. I recall when it finally occurred to me, I'm pretty fantastic. It's not magic. I remember because
as I make comparisons And not in terms of better or worse, just different And not all of these memories are great, but they're mine Which lends weight to the belief that none of our lives are put together on an assembly line We're not pre-packaged with emotions or programmed with stories We have to make our own And they all come batteries not included Amid the endless opportunities we have daily Seldom do we take the time necessary to pause To stop To record, rewind and press play In our own way we are all ghetto blasters at top volume We consume silence with noise Speakers pounding at our heartbeats As we write refund receipts for the broken eardrums Of people who can hear us live We give of ourselves time Precious because its quality is limited only by your ability to live within it Put yourself in every second of every minute and you will have a life worth remembering Just because we don't have forever doesn't mean we have to move towards the end as if on a conveyor belt I felt nothing short of astonished when people asked me how do you memorize all that? Fact is, it's not a trick There's no thick curtain you need to pull away No little old man making it all work from behind a locked door You yourself probably remember before when I told you that near a black hole, time slow inside a black hole is where I wanted to grow tomatoes.